Today we're taking a look at the Nike Pegasus Turbo. Pegasus Turbo is a shoe that I've been excited about even back when it was in the rumor phase. And then once the Pegasus 35 was released, I was immediately looking forward towards the Pegasus Turbo. Now what the Pegasus Turbo is, it is a version of the Pegasus that instead of having a zoom air pocket inside, the Pegasus Turbo instead has zoom X foam in it, which is the same thing that's in the zoom fly 4%, which is the shoe that was in the breaking two uh, challenge. And so the main difference is that it's in a Pegasus versus in the Vaporfly uh, silhouette. And there is no uh, carbon fiber plate in it like in the Vaporfly 4%. The event that I went to was the Nike uh, Racing Series. This event that I went to is part of a series of races that lead up to the Chicago Marathon. Uh, this is the second race in the series. I didn't know about the first one. Uh, I only found out about this one by following the Nike running uh, Instagram account. I saw them post a video about a race in downtown Chicago in the loop that was a hill climb. And so I swiped up to learn more and I signed up for the event. I found out it was gonna be at a parking garage just two blocks from where I am right now. I'm currently at my office after I was right after the event. I wanted to make sure I got this video shot right away so you guys could see it. Uh, and I couldn't wait to film this uh, video anyhow. And uh, shortly after I had signed up for it, I did get, have someone reach out to me uh, and invite me to the race. And so that uh, marks off one of the major running goals for 2018 that I had set out for myself is to get invited to a race. So I'm very happy about that. And while I was there, I did get a pair of the Pegasus Turbos uh, given to me. So full disclosure in terms of this uh, review and all the videos that are gonna come uh, following from this as we go forward. But you came here to see the shoe. Um, the shoe, and it doesn't come up in the photographs and I don't know if it's coming through here, but on the black shoe, it's translucent. And so the, the gray shoe with like the orange or real kind of pinkish racing stripe down the middle, um, that one, you could tell that it's transparent and you could see the fly wire underneath. When I'm looking at this shoe, I can still see the fly wire underneath because the top part is like somewhat see-through and then feeling it on the inside, it feels like mesh um, on the inside here. So the material here is super breathable. Uh, it's very snug on the foot. So when you're just kind of walking around, it feels a little bit warm. And I was a little bit concerned about that when I first put it on. But once I started moving around, the air is just flowing through. This material here just feels really great on your foot and some of those turns coming through that parking garage were super tight a lot of 90 degree turns sometimes it was towards the end it was like a 180 degree turn so uh putting a lot of strain on uh, different parts of the shoe for most people that are just going to be running kind of like in a straight line maybe in a circle around a track so uh very impressed with this the turnover on this shoe is just super fast and so it's part of the design and maybe it's the zoom x foam uh, but i've always felt like the pegasus what they've done really well with that is even though there are other 10 millimeter sh drop shoes out there the pegasus i always feel like my cadence is faster uh, my legs are turning over faster with the same amount of effort 
compared to other shoes. And the Pegasus Turbo definitely follows in that uh, kind of heritage, but it does that to the next level. And I think that has to do with the Zumex foam that's in here. Um, on the outsole, I love this outsole pattern uh, and design. I love the racing stripe that wraps all the way around. And I didn't realize, again, from the photos, that these were gonna be gray uh, rubber outsole uh, nubs down here. Uh, I love the gray and the white, the two-tone. It reminds me a lot of the Epic React. And then that racing stripe, I just, I, I really like it. And then it's a little bit of a Nike logo right there too. So lots of little touches that go into the shoe and it just seems like it's very thoughtfully designed. I'm a huge fan. Uh, the only one drawback, and it's not even a drawback with the shoe, is just the timing that I got it. And uh, tomorrow is a planned rest day. I'm resting up for the 5K race that I had planned uh, weeks ago to run on Saturday. By the time you guys watch this video, the following video tomorrow is gonna be that race. So hit the subscribe button and stay tuned because there's gonna be a 5K race that I'll be running in these. And I'm gonna be hoping to break 20 minutes. That's what I've been kind of working towards the last couple of weeks, two months. Uh, to getting some speed in and so I'm very excited to have these to run in for that attempt and then following that depends on how I feel the following day uh, on the recovery I'm gonna try and take these for a really long run as well at least a half marathon distance hopefully to the 15 mile mark just to see how they do because they feel amazingly soft and light uh, without feeling squishy uh, and without losing that sensation that I've got some support in here and so it's a weird sensation that it could feel so soft and so like good for running at the same time it's kind of hard to explain you got to try them on uh, it's just a little bit different but I'm also a little bit concerned about how this is gonna hold up over long distances there's nothing that tells me that it shouldn't it's just something new it's not zoom air it's not Kushlan, it's not Everon, it's not ultra boost it's something that I haven't run in before and something that I think most people haven't run in before I think that this is a hit. I love the way it looks. I love the way it functions. I'm a huge fan of it, and I can't wait to make more videos of it. And so make sure you are subscribed to see those videos as they're coming up over the next days and weeks. Before I go, I will say that this thing does run true to size. Uh, I'm always wearing a size nine uh, for all my running shoes that run true to size. Adidas, Saucony, uh, Nike, the size nine always seems to work for me. Uh, I have the size nine in the Pegasus Turbo. I have the size nine in the 35 and all the other Pegasus that I've worn. Uh, and it fits uh, perfectly. I will say though that this seemed to feel a little bit, a hair more snug than the 35 did to me. But I'm also comparing a 35 that I've got about 200 miles in on it to a brand new shoe. So it might just be that. In either event, I would say uh, whatever you're used to running in for the Pegasus, uh, continue running with that. If you've not run into Pegasus before, uh, it is true to size, so stay with those numbers as well and give that a try first, uh, while keeping in mind that this isn't like a, another shoe that has like super wide toe box for your toes to play around. It is gonna be a little bit more snug, uh, and I like that about this shoe. So any other questions besides that, uh, leave them in the comments, and I'd love to talk to you guys down there. Yo, what's going on?